All right, good morning. I want to teach you in this prayer on how to pray a hedge for your children. It's incredibly important to me as a father that I pray for my children, my grandchildren, my stepchildren every day. I would encourage you to do the same thing. As Christians, we have a struggle against evil that we're dealing with, and we're, we're working against spiritual powers every day, and so is our children. Therefore, the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God so we can stand against the attack of the wicked one. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. One powerful weapon that every Christian parent has the right and the ability to use and is commanded to use is prayer. We can pray daily a hedge of protection about our children, and we should do this. Job did this, and we read in the book of Job that Satan complained about how effective it was. It prevented him from assailing Job and his family. He said in Job 1.10, Has not thou made a hedge about him, and about his house, speaking of his wife and children, and about all that he hath, his possessions, on every side? Job 1.10 there are three parts to the prayer for our hedge of protection. The first is, is ask God to bind and rebuke the power of Satan in the life of each member of your family. This includes yourself. You have to hold yourself accountable as well. First and foremost, you should hold yourself accountable. And then start working through the rest of your family. If you recognize sinful patterns or demonic strongholds in your life or in any of your children's, then take a stand as one of God's warriors and and be mighty through God you can pull down these strongholds the Bible tells us in Mark chapter 3 verse 27 no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first bind the strong man so you have the ability to pray the power of God to bind these forces of work evil working against you your wife or your children or your household or finances for instance right now watch this Heavenly Father I pray and I ask that you would bind everything working against my finances. I pray that you break them loose, that you bless them, and that they would prosper. In Christ's name, I give you the praise for it. Amen. It's that simple. Second thing is when you do pray, pray in the name and through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, God has already given us the victory because it was obtained through Jesus Christ and his shed blood. Notice the promise of Jesus in the following verses. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That's from John chapter 14, verse 13. And it's a promise from the Lord Jesus Christ that we can claim, and we should. It honors God, and it glorifies the Father and the Son. Christ's name is Protector. One of the names of Jesus Christ is the Protector. He's the good shepherd that gives his life for his sheep. He gave his life for you and for me and for our children. And now we can never die again. He's purchased that victory for us. And we can simply trust him to do so and then give him the glory. So, thirdly now, claim the scripture that relates to the kind of protection that's needed. For example, if you need protection from sin, claim Romans 6.14 where it says, sin shall not have dominion over you. If you need protection from discouragement, claim Hebrews 13.5, where Jesus said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Here's an example, and um, it's a prayer that I'll pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you in the name and through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to bind and rebuke Satan. I ask you to put a hedge of protection around me and each member of my family, including my wife, my children, my grandchildren, my stepchildren. Bless our household and our lineage. Lord, you've told us, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you, in us, Father, you will perform it till the day of Jesus Christ, Philippians 1.6. So I claim that in the name of Jesus, our wonderful shepherd. Amen. So, that is a prayer that you can give for your children. Now, I'll do this right now, and I'll pray with you for a hedge. True Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you break the backs of the enemy, that you destroy the work of the devourer and the destroyer, 
and set against him his own self. I pray that you would bless my children and my grandchildren and stepchildren. And then pray for them by name. I pray for Sarah. I pray for Zachariah. I pray for Jennifer. I pray for their spouses. I pray for my grandchildren, Naliana, Devon. I pray for Kalina. I pray for Nova Rain. I pray for Brody. I pray for Jara. I pray for uh, Chloe and Ian and my wife, Dina. Lord, I ask for myself also. Put a hedge of protection around us. Bless us. Destroy the works of the enemy. Reverse all curses, hexes, vexes, chants, incantations, things that have been prayed against us. Reverse the works of the enemy. And Lord, send holy angels to surround us this day. Surround my children and grandchildren. Bless them. Touch their heart with your Holy Spirit and with your Holy Word. And Lord, lead them into the paths of righteousness. I give them into your hands. I ask and I pray for your blessing. Lord, bind the works of evil and release the powers of good, the forces of heaven on our behalf. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. I pray that you prayed that for your children, that you learned to pray for your children effectively. It's in Christ's name I do pray. Amen. This is Dr. Knott signing off.